Hey, what's up DCS crew? It is Carlos back at it today with a pocket real estate video. It's Friday, so I figured fuck it Friday, right? <laughs> and what better way to say fuck it than just uh, a knife that you can say no matter what. If somebody is, you know, into knives, whether they're getting, you know, into knives uh, and, and they're making a, a, you know, they're asking you being a knife guy, hey man, what, what would you recommend to me? Without fail, you could say, fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and recommend this. And that'd be the Ontario Knives Rat Number 1. Uh, this is going to be in my pocket today. This is the uh, the full size uh, designation being the, the Rat Number 1. Um, and this is the one that I would actually recommend to uh, to people just getting into knives. Um, and there's there's a reason why it's this particular version. This is a this is the version um, that is in Aussie steel, nice satin blade with a full flat grind. It feels really good in the hand, being that it's full size. Um, the jimping is not too overbearing, but it's there whenever you need it. Uh, you have a four way pocket clip, so if you want to be tip up or tip down, uh, you know it is it's it's really up to you. This is on bearings, and the only thing that I didn't like about this knife is the fact that it's a liner lock. Um, because I mean, everything about this says, you know, hard use, uh, use it while you need to, you know, uh, make them slicey cuts. The, the grind says just keep slicing and keep cutting. And the fact is, you know, even with OS 8, uh, I know that they have the D2 version and they even have the, the, the smaller guy, the Rat 2 with the D2. Um, I think that this is the best for beginners because while, um, yeah, it, it, it's as it's softer than D2 in all honesty, um, it's, it's better corrosion resistance and it's gonna take a sharper edge quicker than uh, than D2. Granted, you're gonna to have to sharpen it a lot quicker than D2, but um, I'd, I'd rather have that at the beginning because the truth is, if you're just getting into knives, you should just be getting into knife sharpening as well. So it'll be something that you will um, kind of grow into um, you know, as a knife user. And then you're gonna find out as you kind of graduate into better knives with better steels, that this might be something that you never really get rid of. Um, this is something that I feel is, is a bit of a rite of passage and it's not a Chinese knife, it's made in Taiwan. Yeah, granted, they're, they're pretty close to each other. Um, but I like the fact that there's a lot of really good things that are going on with this particular knife. Uh, as an example, number one, this uh, this three hole pattern that they keep for the, um, for the pocket clip, which is on all four sides. Um, so whether you're left or right-handed, you can go ahead and use this. And if you feel like you want your, your knives to be uh, tipped down, you know, instead of tip up, you can just go ahead and do that. Personally, I prefer uh, tip up. Um, and by that designation, for those who don't know, is when the... Uh, the pocket clip is uh, the pocket clip is in the tip up position. That means it's on this side. So when you put the uh, the uh, knife in your pocket, the blade itself is sticking up towards you from your pocket instead of the other way, which would be tipped down, where the tip of the knife is sticking inside of your pocket. So um, that being said, let me go ahead and give you the uh, the once around on it. Show side, front, clip side, and back, top, and bottom. Now. As far as a size comparison, let's bring out a, a few of the usual suspects. Uh, Best Tech Texel, Adam Purvis design, very, very well done. Chinese D2. Kaiser Rogue, Dirk Pinkerton design, also very well done. S35 VN Steel from Kaiser. What else do we have here? We have the CJRB Feldspar Small. Awesome CJRB design, also in D2. This is the small version. I have in my pocket. Let's see. We have the Hogue Knives Deca. Elisha Witt's design in CPM 20 CV steel. Okay. And uh, what else we got? What else we got? Um, Spyderco UK pen knife. S110V Blue FRN. Very lightweight uh, knife. Great US made uh, Spyderco. And last but not least... Here is the Benchmade North Fork in S30V with G10 and steel liners and deep carry pocket clip, okay? So, um, one other thing to say about the, uh, the the pocket clips here is that this is actually the same as, if I'm not mistaken, the, uh, the Benchmade pocket clips. And uh, let me see if I can show the whole design. Let's see if I can show it here. Pretty sure it's the same. Uh, there is a slight variation actually, Never mind. Um, but um, what I was going to mention was there is a pocket clip design that allows you to be able to go ahead and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, fit a deep carry pocket clip on this. Now, I'm pretty sure 
that uh, even though there's a slight variation in where this middle hole is for the Ontario Rat uh, number one and two, as opposed to say the Benchmade knives, um, this particular pocket clip with the butterfly, the deep carry pocket clip actually fits on there. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that you don't need any modification. If you really, really need a pocket clip, you can go ahead and get something like that to be able to go ahead and use with it. Um, if they made this in a stone wash, this would sell like freaking hotcakes. But the truth is it still sells like hotcakes because this is a very, very cheap, and, I, and when I say cheap, I mean more inexpensive knife. Um, yeah, there are other knives that have taken its place in the budget category that are good performers and also have T2, uh, most notably knives like, um, you know, uh, from CJRB, knives from Civivi, uh, Kershaw has a few, even some, some USA made knives in, in the region, but they don't have D2, they have 420 high carbon steel, but that's regardless, it's, it's USA made, you know, and then there are a couple of other companies, there's knives like, uh, uh, oh man, what was the other one that I did recently? Oh, the QSP Penguin, the QSP Penguin is another knife that's great, um, even Tangum knives with, you know, knives like the, uh, the Vector, you know, in the Santa Fe. Great knives as well, a Kudo 440C. Granted, they're harder to find than this, and you really can't go wrong with something like this. Oh, uh, it's funny, funny story. Um, I found out that a buddy of mine that is in the similar industry that we work with uh, each other quite often, and we exchange emails, uh, he found out, you know, that, that I'm a gun guy, and, you know, it turns out he's a gun guy too, and we, we were gonna go out to the range, and uh, when he passed by to, to, to go see me, this was before the pandemic, um, we got ready and we, we headed out to the range and um, I noticed he had a pocket knife uh, in, in his pocket, but I couldn't see what the clip was. And I guess he noticed I was looking at his pocket. He's like, oh, wait, what are you carrying? So I took out my Spyderco, I had a pair of three and he took out a uh, spider, uh, excuse me, a an Ontario Knives uh, Rat number two, which is basically the same thing, only a little bit smaller, uh, I think with a three inch blade. Uh, he, he had a Rat 2 and D2, so I thought that was pretty cool. It's the same knife, only um, the smaller uh, dimension version, which is the Rat 2. Um, now, I've, I've kept this for a little while, and I haven't used it because I've had other knives that have fit its its usage. And another knife that I, I didn't bring out, but I should have, is the P108SF, which is... Uh, I thought the SF was stonewash finish, but it actually means satin finish. 14C28N as opposed to OS8. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys to help me out here. All right. Um, I'd recommend either of the two. They're very slicey. Uh, this one comes with a pocket clip uh, that's steep carry and it has like kind of uh, steel scales or aluminum scales. It's one of the two and it has this weird lock, which I don't really care for because of the fact that, I mean, it's it's a, uh, a frame lock, but everything would tell me that this is the better knife in my experience. Um, just because of like the blade style, um, the fact that it's open with thumb studs and not a flipper. Um, I prefer this, but there's a lot to love on the P108SF2. I would recommend either one, but I'd like to know what your opinion is on that. So, okay, this is the Rake P108SF, okay? Stonewash scales, satin finish blade with a flat grind, uh, P108SF is this particular one. It has this kind of lock and a deep carry clip. And then obviously you have the tried and true Ontario rat number one, which would be, you know, my personal recommendation. But let's just say, hypothetically speaking, if I was doing a giveaway and I had one of these two knives available to give away, which one would you want to win? Tell me in the comments, uh, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll do a giveaway, because I got a couple of other things that I want to be able to go ahead and provide as far as a giveaway. Maybe I'm letting the cat out of the bag a little bit too quickly, you know? Maybe I don't want to talk about the other stuff that I have. But um, in any case, just, you know, just um, putting it out there. If you guys uh, have any suggestions of which one you would rather have, either the Rake or the Ontario uh, Rat 1, you know, just feel free to sign off in the comments below. Uh, that being said, this is going to be in my pocket in the meantime. I mean, you know, I put use on my stuff. And uh, yeah, if you're going to get it, you're going to get it, you know, as a great knife nonetheless. So that being said, this is going to be my pocket real estate uh, tenant for the day. Thank you so much for watching. And just remember, guys, whether it's the Rake or the Ontario Rat 1, if you EDC, think of DCS. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This is going in the pocket. I will see you next time. Peace.